All right, let's do some more theory for fun. So the problem we're going to look at today is one that I'm asked all the time, which is, does the NFA to DFA process make more states than the original NFA, make the same number of states, or make fewer states? So the answer, believe it or not, is yes for all three. And so let's tackle these one at a time. So let's look at one. So when we do the NFA to DFA process, and we want to see if we can find an example that produces a DFA with more states. Well, we can just use this really simple example right here. So let's just say we have this example right here. Well then, let's just say that this is the NFA. Then if we convert it to a DFA, well, and let's say that the alphabet is 0, 1. Actually, let's just make it 1 for for uh, simplicity. Actually, let's make it A, <laughs> because the character is an A. So let's just do the NFA to DFA process. Well, the only character is an A, so we're going to make the transition like this. But then we got to make a transition with Q1 on A. Well, in the NFA, that didn't go anywhere. So we will have it when we convert it to make, make it go to a state Q2 which will loop on A. So we can see that the NFA here has two states, and the DFA has three states. And so it is possible to make more states when you convert it to a DFA. What about the same number of states? So is that possible? Well, let's consider the example of an NFA where we have two states just like before, but now the final state has a self-loop on A. Well, when we convert it to a DFA, we will get exactly the same DFA. Uh, sorry, the same machine. It'll look like exactly the same machine. And we can easily see here that we have two states, and we have two states for the DFA also. And you can actually uh, generalize this to any DFA. So any NFA that is also a DFA will work. Because if you just do the conversion, well, if it's already a DFA, you're not going to make any more states than you did before. So what about fewer states? Is it possible that the NFA to DFA conversion will make fewer states than the NFA had? And it turns out that this is possible. So we could actually just have a start state that has a bunch of epsilon transitions, I shouldn't call that Q0, a bunch of epsilon transitions, let's just say we'll stop here, and so this is our NFA, well then let's just say we want to make a DFA now, well the epsilon closure of the start state is all of the states. So when I make the start state, it's going to have Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3 in it, because that's the epsilon closure of the start state. And then if I um, read any character, well, I need to go to the empty set state, because none of these states has a transition on input A. And so then, and then of course, with the empty set state, we got to make a self-loop. And of course, this one's the final state because Q3 was final. So we can see that the NFA has four states, and we can make this as long as we want to. It doesn't have to be four states. And then the DFA has two states. So it's pretty clear from this that it's not always the case that an NFA, when converted to a DFA, will make more states. Sometimes 
you can have more states, sometimes you can have the same number of states, and sometimes you can have fewer states.